Hi everybody, um, uh, this hopefully won't run too long, but it might. Anyways, um, this is literally just a video where I'm gonna ramble about different music that I like, and maybe you can find, like, some bands that you like and be like, oh cool, she likes this too, or, um, maybe by me rambling about them you might discover that that's something that you want to listen to as well. But yeah, like, I'm goth, I like goth music, but I also like punk and like a lot of metal. Um, I liked metal before I kind of, through metal, discovered goth music, and when I heard it, it was kind of like, whoa, this is the sound that I've always wanted to hear but didn't know existed. Um, so I'm gonna start with, I don't listen to like a lot of punk, but I listen to like a few bands religiously. And, um, for those of you, like, hardcore punks, you're probably gonna roll your eyes, but, uh, Misfits, Rancid, No FX, and, um, like, Black Flag, those are, like, my favorites. But yeah, like, Black Flag, uh, No FX, and Rancid, um, they're, like, the very stereotypical sound that you think of when you think punk. Like, oh, da, 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 da. that's, like, what the songs sound like, um, <laughs> I know that, like, I know that sounds weird, but, like, if you listen to their music, you'll understand. Um, I highly, highly recommend Rancid, um, if you're, like, well, I guess, like, I don't know. I think Rancid is really good if you want to half sing along with a song, if that makes sense. They, all their songs are, like, very sing-alongable, too, but then halfway through, like, the one guy just, like, you can't understand what he's saying. So, <laughs> take that for what it is, but, um, Rancid's great. I have, um, Outcome the Wolves. It's just a full album, uh, in my car, and I listen to it, like, a lot. It's really good for, like, driving in the summer, even if I'm just, like, gonna go do errands or something. Like, pumps me up. It's very energetic. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what song on there is my favorite. Probably Ruby Soho. Um, I'm sure that you've probably, like, heard it in, like, a movie or something at some point. It's like, Destination, I know, it's a good song. Great song. Love it. And, um, uh, The Roots uh, is, like, one of their songs that's really good, too. So, Ruby Soho and, like, The Roots, The Roots, The Radical. Really good song. Highly recommend. Um, they have another album. I forget what the name of the album is. I'm literally just gonna look it up. Their album Let's Go is also very, very good. Um, I'm pretty sure Let's Go came out before Outcome the Wolves, if I'm correct. Um, I probably should have just looked that up, but anyways, Outcome the Wolves, Let's Go. They're both very good albums and they're both about like 45 minutes long. So I personally like to have um, as long of an album as possible when I'm like listening to music in my car so then I don't have to burn more CDs. Which, by the way, my car is very old. Um, it was made, like, just before you could put, plug an aux cord into your car, so I, so I have to burn CDs and it's a bitch. So, I always try to get, like, the longest albums that I can burned onto my CDs. It's also good for, uh, long car rides, I'll be, because I know when I'm two rancid albums down that I'm usually almost done whatever the long car ride is, so... There, I use, I use songs as a unit of measurement for time, as opposed to just looking at the clock. Um, and then The Misfits is another one. I'm like a huge, 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 big fat fan of The Misfits, literally. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I, I love Danzig era Misfits. If you're looking for like dirty, grungy, mean punk, I'd say Danzig era. It feels like he's yelling at you specifically. It feels like he's mad at you and he wrote the song about you. That's how I feel about Danzig when he fronted the Misfits. Um, and then after Danzig left, uh, fun fact, um, uh, Peter S Pete Steele from Typo Negative actually almost fronted uh, for the Misfits uh, for one of their albums after Danzig left, but instead um, he actually recommended Michael Graves, who then became like the next face of the Misfits. So I think Pete Steele misfits would have been like really interesting i think it would have been very like gloomy um but i also like the direction that michael graves went with it i know it's a bit more poppy but it's a lot more horror which i really really love um 
like I said, Danzig is like yelling at you and he's accusing you of, I don't know, being a bitch. I don't know, just like Danzig yells at you and he's just like, ah, da, 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 da. and like that's, that's Danzig misfits. And it's great and I love it. But I also love Graves misfits because he has like a great singing voice. Um, and each song is like a story. Each song is very narrative. Um, and it's like he's telling me a spooky story, a spooky, creepy story. And I really ugh, love Graves. Love Graves. Love Danzig. I know a lot of people are like split between the two. Um, I love them both. Danzig, Era Misfits. I'm trying to think of my favorite songs. Rat Fink, obviously. Uh, Return of the Fly uh, is really good. Um, I must say I love all I love all the songs. I love all of them, but Rat Fink, Return of the Fly. Um, and like then there's like the ones that like everybody loves, like Hy uh, Hybrid Moments, Last Caress. Um, I think Children in Heat is really good too. Children in Heat, you gotta get Anyway, sorry. I, the Children in Heat is a really good song too. And then as far as Graves goes, again, like it's hard to pick because I love all of them. Um, Scream, amazing. Uh, Saturday Night amazing. Uh, Helena, amazing. Uh, those are all really good. Um, honestly, the only one I really don't like is, uh, Scarecrow Man. Um, I, I just, I don't like it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, like, Crawling Eye or Scarecrow Man. Like, they're okay, but I don't hate them. But if I'm listening to Full Famous Monsters, which I listen to it a lot, I, I usually skip those, too. Oh well, sorry, can't can't all be winners. Uh, and then like after a while, um, Graves left, and now it's like Jerry only, who I believe Jerry only was the bassist because his brother Doyle was the guitarist. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Yeah, um, Jerry only is now like pretty much the only only remaining original member of the Misfits, and I I appreciate what he's trying to do in keeping the band alive. But no, no. I've listened to the songs he's put out. I listened to the 1950s cover album that he put out. No, no, no. And like I saw in like an interview where he was talking about how Danzig was just getting too Satan worshipy, and it. I I wouldn't put that out for my kids, so I don't know why Glenn's out here telling everybody to worship Satan in his songs. It got too much. First of all, what what little children are listening to the Misfits? None. Nobody's like actual literal tiny baby children are listening to the Misfits. Second of all, that's what we want. We want like the scary, spooky, Satan worshipy stuff. Which like, okay, you listen to like Danzig's solo music. It's not even that bad. If anything, I feel like Danzig's solo music is tamer than when he was in the Misfits. Ah, uh, like. Like Cain, like the fucking Cain and Abel song, and like Mother. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Danzig's solo work, but I don't really see it as that Satan worshipy. It's just like him being moody. Like, fuck off, Jerry. Only if you're watching this, go fuck yourself. I fucking hate Jerry. Um, but yeah, not a big fan of Jerry. Only when it's just him trying to scrape the band together. But I do love Danzig and I do love Graves, and I think they're both amazing in their own respect for the Misfits. So. Um, and as far as for, like, a whole, like, whole Misfit albums that I think that you should, like, listen to start to finish, Static Age. Static Age is amazing. And, and then American Psycho is really good. Because pretty much everything on the American Psycho album, I think, is, like, music based off of, like, scary movies. So, American Psycho is really good. Um, and then I guess next I'm kind of gonna go... I'm gonna talk about like the more like gothy music. Um, for any goths out there watching this, I know you're probably gonna roll your eyes and be like, "That's technically not goth. That's goth rock, and that's that's goth metal, and they're technically different. So if you listen to those, you're not goth." Shut up. I'm talking about what I like. First of all, second of all, I'm just gonna say like the basic scratching the surface of goth music is Susie and the Banshees, Bauhaus, Sisters of Mercy, Joy Division, The Cure. They're all great, but like it's just like the same five bands. I feel like I hear everybody fucking regurgitate over and over and over and over again. They're great. 
I'll listen to them, but I don't listen to them religiously like I do other bands that are influenced by the subculture. So, I, I just feel like everybody preaches about, like, you gotta listen to the basics, goth is about the music, which, yes, goth is about the music, first of all. Second of all, I do think that you need to listen to the, you know, like, the starting bands that emerged into the scene, but I don't think that you should shit on people who like to listen to other goth-influenced and gothy bands and not call them goth because they're not those fucking five. Not every band is going to be the Sisters of Mercy, okay? I'm sorry. Not every band is going to have the corrosion. I'm sorry, okay? I wish every band could have their corrosion, but not every band does. Sorry, I'm getting worked up. I, I decided to join some, like, Facebook groups uh, about, like, goth and general alternative subculture and like some people are really cool about it and then other people are like fucking assholes about it and I thought like the whole gatekeepy thing was just kind of like the vocal minority but there are a lot more like catty bitchy people about it than I thought like like, like people get mad that uh when somebody's trying to get into the scene that they don't know that much and it's like Obviously, they're not gonna know that much. They're just getting into it. I didn't know, like, anything about the subculture, really, until I got into, like, college. In high school, I always thought it was, like, cool to be goth, but I didn't know anything about the subculture. I didn't really listen to that much goth music other than, like, um, I listened to The Misfits, which I know Misfits isn't goth, but a lot of goth people listen to Misfits. Um, I listened to The 69 Eyes a little bit in, um, high school. I listened to a lot of Voltaire. I love Voltaire. You know, he's dark cabaret, but he's still spooky, you know? Um, and I listened to Susie and the Banshees in high school, but I didn't really appreciate it until I got to college. If that's... Now I'm gonna get into the more, like, darky, gothy, post-punk, goth rock, goth metal bands and stuff. Um, first I'm gonna start with, uh, the Lorries. Holy shit, do I love the Lorries. And I feel like when talking about goth music, nobody ever talks about them. Um, they're also known as Red Lori, Yellow Lori, but I think they changed it to the Lori's because it was just like too much of a mouthful. But they're great! They're so good. My favorite album um, from them is called um, Talk About the Weather, and like literally like my favorite song on the album is like, let's talk about the weather. Da -na 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 -na. Um, one of the things that I really like about um, like goth style music is that it's kind of sad and gloomy, but a lot of it is sad and gloomy and like the singers sing it in a way like they just lost their job, you know? Um, I like it because like they all sing like they just lost their job. Not that somebody just died, that's a different type of sadness. And not like they just had their heart broken, that's another different type of sadness. That's like him. Him like, I listened to him a lot in high school I'll be honest. Him is like, you broke my heart, the sweet six six. You know, that's like, that's that type of sadness, and I'm not exactly looking for that anymore. I'm looking for, like, a real sadness. I'm looking for a real, mundane, raw, everyday kind of sadness. And you know what happens every day? People lose their jobs, and they're depressed as fuck about it. And I want to hear that through somebody's voice. Does that make sense? Am I getting too fanatical? Because when I listen to the lorries, that's what I think of when they're like, da -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. It sounds like he just lost his job. Shoot me if I'm wrong. Um, no, don't. <laughs> I might be wrong. But that's like the vibe I get, okay? And I like hearing that in a singer's voice. Um, so yeah, the Lorries. Let's talk about the weather. The album, both the album and the song. Very good. Like I said, Sisters Sisters of Mercy, great. Uh, and like I said, the Corrosion, great, great songs. Like, hey now, hey now, now, sing this Corrosion to me. Um, Sisters of, Mer Sisters of Mercy are a uh, classic, they're a staple, um, I'm Dr. Jeep is another really good one that's from, I'm pretty sure that's from The Vision, The Vision Thing, I forget the exact name of the album, I think it's called The Vision, their album's called like The Vision Thing, uh, Dr. Jeep's on that one, it's really good, and then The Corrosion is from their album Floodland, which is also very good, that whole album's great, and I really highly recommend it if you're just getting into the scene, um, it gives you a, a, a good idea of, you know. Um, and I'm not going to be talking about all, like, the, the, I know I just talked about the five guys, Burgers and Fries. Um, but although, like, I listen to them occasionally, I wouldn't put, I would, well, not occasionally, although I listen to them, I wouldn't put them on, like, my list of main bands that I listen to all the time. Like, I listen to the Sister Mer Sisters of Mercy, like, a fuck ton. 
and although I listen to uh, Bauhaus and Susie and the Banshees and like The Cure and Joy Division, I don't listen to them all the time. They're not bands that like I constantly put on every CD that I burn, you know? So although I listen to them, I'm not like looping them into the list of bands that like I listen to like religiously, if that makes sense. I have a list that I'm looking at uh, that I wrote down. So the next one, um, it's Fields of the Nephilim. Ugh, I love Fields of the Nephilim. The first time I ever heard them uh, was at this like alternative uh, restaurant slash bar. It's like the, the downstairs is a restaurant and the upstairs is like a cool grungy graffiti bar. Um, and they played Blue Waters by Fields of the Nephilim and it was so good that I overcame my anxiety to ask the dude at the bar if he knew what the song was. And he was like, uh, hold on, I'll have to like ask and check and he just like asked like one of the waiters to like check for me. And it was Blue Waters by Fields of the Nephilim. Such a good song. I have so many good memories with that song. I, like, when I think goth music, I think of that song specifically. It's such a good song. They're such a great band. I can't, I can't think of a song by them that I don't thoroughly enjoy. Um, and uh, Moonchild, their song Moonchild, amazing. Sorry, I had to fix my bangs. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, what was it? Fields of the Nephilim, yeah. Um, Moonchild and Blue Waters so good great amazing songs if you go to like um like a more goth oriented club or even just like a club that has goth nights I'm like you're guaranteed to at least hear moon child it's very popular and for a reason because it's <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes on my back of my head a lot because I just genuinely love fields of the nephilim um uh oh god they're so good and like the guitarist like the guitar and like all their songs is so good it's like I know that like I don't know how to describe it I'm not like good at like talking about music terms but the guitar is so good um <laughs> and then ooh, next one Lacrimus Profundere I don't know if I'm saying that right but they're another really good gothy band um I just I, I consider them a goth band honestly but I know some people are like it's goth rock it's not the same okay um they're, uh, they're like really good and doomy and gloomy. Um, Av End is like one of my favorite songs by them. It has like a pretty good like solid like piano riff. And, riff is, it, is a piano riff a thing or can only guitars riff? I don't know. But the piano in the beginning of the song is great. Lacrimus Profundere is really good. Uh, they're another band where I loop the singing in as like I can't believe I just lost my job. Like lost my job and a little bit of you broke my heart. Actually, a lot of it of You Broke My Heart. It's like, you broke my heart after I lost my job, really? Like, that's the vibe I get from, like, the vocals. <laughs> um, and then, who else? Ooh, um, their Skeletal Family, uh, their song Promised Land's really good. They're very, like, goth rock. Like, emphasis on the rock part. They're very good. Um, they're female French too, which is awesome, because... It's just nice, you know, um, another goth, oh, 69 Eyes, 69 Eyes are great, um, their Paris Kills album, fantastic, my favorite song on there is Betty Blue, it's like, I'm gonna run away with you, <laughs> that's weird, um, I love it when, uh, like the, when singers kind of take influence from Elvis and apply it into their singing, um, which I know sounds like super specific, but like Danzig has like a lot of Elvisy influence, which I love. And um, the lead singer of the 69 Eyes, he sounds like sad Elvis. He sounds like super sad Elvis, and I love it. Um, Betty, but yeah, Betty Blue is a really good song by the 69 Eyes, as well as, fuck. Sorry, my, my brain stopped working. Lost Boys, you wanna rock, nothing's gonna make you stop. Nothing's gonna break you off. Everybody knows you're lost in the night time, but it lasts for It's a really great song. Uh, they sing it way better than me. It's hard to believe, I know, but... <sighs> My hair keeps not doing what I want it to do. Um, I had, like, straight across bangs for the longest time, and I've just been too lazy to cut them, so... They're doing whatever they feel like doing right now. Oh, I look so cute at this angle. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna tell you how I did the shitty eyeliner. And then it's like, hey, I like to pound brewskis and 
mac and cheese, I don't know. I promise I like, I feel like I look a little bit better in real life, but this camera isn't doing it for me, boo. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Anyways, oh, um, and the last, like, gothy kind of, um, band slash musician I wanted to talk about, uh, is the Eva O'Halo experience, which is just, like, a lady. I'm pretty sure she went through, like, a Christian phase for a while, but I'm familiar with, like, her goth stuff. Um, well, gothy, darker stuff, I should say. Uh, uh, Children of the Light is really, really good, and so is Angel of Death, but, um, yeah, Children of the Light, it's a bop. It's so good. I have it um, on a couple CDs, actually. Like, I have some CDs that are just all albums, and I have some CDs that are, like, playlists, and I have uh, Children of the Light on, like, a couple different playlists. It's really good. She's like, Children of the Light, let us take our flight. It's really good. Very, like, spooky. Really great for, like, the next two things are I'm going to talk about, like, some of the metal that I listen to. I listen to a lot of, like, stoner metal slash rock and, like, psychedelic. Um, and then I'll have some, like, honorable metal mentions in the end, because... I used to listen to, like, every single type of metal that you can think of, uh, but, like, lately I've been, like, just super into, like, the stoner slash psychedelic stuff, and, um, I actually find, like, all these bands through YouTube. So the first one, ugh, I love them. They're called Green Lung. They're so good, and I want to say their album art is amazing. Um, the, the, the album art is very biblical, if that makes it's It's drawn in, like, those sketchy biblical styles, and, um, I, I recently discovered their album Woodland Rights. Holy shit. Uh, the, the opening of the album is very Brendan Small-esque, which, oh, by the way, I love Brendan Small. Brendan Small's great. I fucking love his Galacticon album. Every single song on it is amazing. Um, sorry. But Woodland Rights is great, and the whole album is kind of, like, about witchcraft, but it's about it in a way where it's, like, um, teaching, like, men and women like to take back their power uh, if that makes sense I don't know if I'm wording it right like one of the songs is um about a nun who like slaves away all day uh just so she can be seen as like pure for god uh but the song is about how she should just like let the devil in and like embrace her sexuality and how she shouldn't be like chained back by christianity I thought that was cool and then there's a song about temp the, it's called like templar nights and it's based off of a true story about um for King, I think it was King Louis, one of the King French King Louis, how he had um, a bunch of Templar knights uh, who went on crusades, uh, and then they were basically accused of being um, like like worshiping Islam, and then that got warped into them worshiping Baphomet and Satan, um, which by the way, Baphomet's just uh, I, I found out that that's just like a butchered pronunciation of Muhammad apparently, so whatever, but, and it's about how, like, they're biding their time to come back from the dead, and how they were wronged by people who supposedly served God, so they turned to Satan to help them get their revenge, and I thought that was cool. Um, uh, I think Witching Hour is, no, it's Call of the Coven is one of the songs on the album, it's amazing. Uh, like, the, it's like, I hear them calling from the fields and the furrows and from the trees. The, the, and from the trees part, like, it hits in, like, such a way. You have to listen to this album. You have to listen to Call of the Coven, and you'll understand what I mean. Um, and I'm, I'll put, like, links for all the things below. But Green Lung is so good. Um, and then, uh, the next band I have on here is Color Haze. They're another, like, stoner, rocky metal band. Um, my favorite album from them is called In Her Garden. It's so good. It makes me feel like I'm partially, like, at the aquarium, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, the album kind of, like, ebbs and flows between, like, harsh, harsh, deep, driving guitar and then, like, do, 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 do. And there's even some like orchestral bits in there too. It's really good. Um, they're they're a great band. I highly recommend. Um, I highly recommend all these bands. Well, what was that? Um, and the next two I like because both of them kind of have bluesy influences to them. Um, 
The first one is called All Them Witches, and my favorite album from them is called Our Mother Electricity. Such, such a good album. <laughs> such a good album. I'm saying that about all of these. But it's really good. The opening opens up and it's just like... It's just like them humming. But then like lots of people humming. And the way they hum, it almost sounds like a, a deep harmonica, if that makes sense. The whole whole album's great. I'm saying the whole album's great because I, whenever I listen to it, I just listen to the whole album. I never bother to check the names of the songs. I just listen to the whole album on repeat. So just listen to the whole album. Uh, all them which is our mother electricity. It's great. Um, and then um, the, the oh sorry, I forgot to mention Fu Manchu. I wrote them in on this list, but I mentioned them earlier. Fu Manchu is really great. They're like stereotypical stoner rock band. They're really good to listen to if you want something like a little more like punchy and upbeat. Um, and just like yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyways, the last one is called um The Devil and the Almighty Blues, and my favorite album by them is called The Devil and the Almighty Blues. Um, and as you can guess, they're, uh, like a stonery, psychedelic metal band that has a lot of blues influence, kind of like deserty blues, but it's really, really, really good. I listen to them sometimes when I'm, uh, making art, and I just, like, find that their music is, like, very good for inspiration. Yeah, they're really good. Um, and, like, I, there's, like, a million, like, stoner and psychedelic bands that I could, like, list but I, we would be here forever. So the the last ones are going to be my honorable mentions, which are just in the, the other general metal bands that I like. The first one being The Sword. I love The Sword. They're a great fucking band, but um, it, their sound changes for every album, so I wasn't sure how to pigeonhole them. Uh, people market them as like a stoner rock band, but I honestly think they're more metal. Uh, their first two albums that they made were very like folk metal, very like gods freya odin you know which i love um and then like the next album that they came out with which i'm pretty sure was warp riders i might have my timelines confused so i'm sorry because i'm just going off the top of my head warp riders was really good the whole album was like a, a space ballad and it's, it's amazing it's a great album and then they have then but then like the next album that I, they, they did like a two albums with the same songs but they're called high and low country so high country is like weird country metal I don't know, but then they have the same songs, but acoustic, and it's called Low Country, and it's like folk. And not folk metal, it's like folk. It's like very folky acoustic guitar music, and it's good. It's very good. Again, highly recommend. The Sword, Low Country, great album. Um, and I think the, the newest album they have out is called Use Future, and it's whatever, it's okay. I'll be honest, it's just okay. Um, it's whatever. Uh, there's one more I'm forgetting. There's one more album from that I'm forgetting. It has the Cloak of Feathers on it, which is like their, I feel like they're like claim to fame song. She wore a cloak of feathers, rode my path like me, 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 Because the guitar is great in that song. Um, I'll, 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 I'll like, you know, plaster something down here for it. <sighs> Sorry, that was supposed to be an honorable mention, but I just rambled about all their albums. Um, oh, Twilightning. Twilightning is a really good band. Uh, if you're into, like, glam metal, I would really look into Twilightning. They don't have a lot of albums or a lot of songs. Um, because from what I understand, the band wasn't together that long before they broke up. So, which sucks, but I think they're very good. Um, Glory Hammer, great. If you like that stereotypical folk metal sound, Glory Hammer is great. Um, all their songs are basically just, like, cool stories. Uh, and actually, the lead singer of Glory Hammer used to be, I believe, he was the guitarist for Ailstorm, which is another, like, gimmicky metal band. Not that there's anything wrong with gimmicky music, it's just Ailstorm only sings about one thing, and it's pirates. Let's be real here. <laughs> I've only gone to a couple concerts, and Ailstorm was one of them, and they were really good. Um, Tyr, T-Y-R, uh, is another really good band. Um, they sing about, like, Norse gods and stuff. Um, ooh, Falconer. I love... Falconer. They're very like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they, I'm pretty sure they play the lute in some of their songs. Falconer, Elven King. Elven King is great. Moon Chariot is my favorite song by them. If you're looking for like, <laughs> like, I feel like if like a hardcore dandy wrote music, they would be in Elven King. <laughs> um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, sorry, wow, that this is this turned into like a, a ramble, but I really like all the bands that I've said, you know, um 
Anyways, the most the, the stuff I tend to listen to the most now is like surface level punk, goth rock, goth metal, um, post punk, dark wave, and then a lot of like psychedelic and stoner metal slash rock. So yeah, I hope, um, I don't know, comment below if you're familiar with any of the bands, if you like them, if you think that there's a band that you listen to that I haven't mentioned that I would like, please post them down below because I'm always looking for more music. Um, or if you just like have something that you want to add or if you just even just like want to have a discussion, just like let me know. I love to talk about music that like I know about. Um, I definitely know the most about like the Misfits and the Sword. <laughs> um, everything else is very like t tip of the iceberg knowledge for me. So yeah, thank you for watching and I, don't, I have no idea what the next video is going to be about. But I just liked to ramble about the types of music that I like. So yeah, bye. Fire, get Rapid! Rapid!